Jay, whatever you're right. Yeah, just to reflect back on the game, obviously a uh, uh, difficult result. Uh, you know, New York City was, was, was very good on the day. I have to give credit to them. Uh, they're sharp. Uh, you know, we talked all week uh, about, at a minimum, uh, bringing energy and passion uh, to the game. Uh, the players uh, responded with that. Uh, we came up a little bit short, though, uh, on getting a play right uh, to get a goal on, on the evening. It's a, a very tough time right now, no question about that. Difficult for us, obviously, to get a result. Uh, guys continue to work hard. And we're, you know, they put a ton of effort into the week. Uh, and we'll have to continue to. It's the only way we can get out of this is to uh, continue to, to execute and, and work hard in training. And then, uh, eventually, one of these results will go our way. Questions for Jim, Matt. Jim, you field an attack-minded lineup. Uh, how do you evaluate how Roland played today? And, and for that lineup to only produce two shots on goal, what's the what's missing in there today? Yeah, I mean, I, I would agree. It's an attacking group at home, but uh, yeah, a, a good passing team that was on the field. Uh, again, could we have been a little sharper when we turned them over in the first half? Uh, yeah, I, I think. You know, we actually were able to pressure them pretty good, turned them over, you know, about eight times in the first half, uh, fairly close to our goal, but just couldn't connect a, a final ball uh, and came up a little bit short there. But, you know, Roland was active. Uh, he's worked really hard on his fitness and, and you know, was rewarded with a, a start. Uh, and, and, you know, he, he worked hard. Uh, again, would you like him to get on the ball a little bit more in the attacking third? Absolutely. But uh, that's not just him. That's a product of our, our team putting him in a good position. Mike, second row on the right. Only uh, two shots in the second half and not on goal. Um, disappointed after conceding that there was not a better response? Yeah, again, I think there's a there was a response energy-wise, but yeah, we didn't create uh, enough, obviously, on the night. Uh, you know, anytime you don't score a goal at home, uh, yeah, you're not happy uh, with the chances that you created. We had a couple good looks here and there, but they were really, you know, half chances, you know, whether it was corner kicks or little scrambles in the box. But uh, not a ton of clear-cut chances created. And, we come up on the, on the wrong end of the result here. Jonathan, front row right. Jim, you played every attacking card you had pretty much in terms of substitution. Yeah. And it didn't produce any goals. At a, at a certain point, what other options are there for you? Yeah, I mean, we continue to work hard in training. We have to get better uh, and execute the, the opportunities that we get. Uh, again, you know, still had some in the first half, had a couple in the second. Uh, and again, if you let a, a quality team like New York uh, Hang around, and the longer the game went, and the, the more uh, you know space we gave them. Once we gave up the goal, uh, they had a lot of time on, on the ball. It was tough for us to, to get around them. They have some uh, very good players, uh, and as we're chasing the game, it becomes a lot more difficult. So, uh, I am still very happy with the performance of, of some of the guys that, that played tonight, uh, especially the young guys. I thought Jack Elliott was was very good. Uh, I thought Adam came in the game and, and left a mark on it, uh, and then we'll have to continue to work hard for minutes. And, and again, it's about Kevin plays right, and, and right now, uh, in, in the attacking third, uh, yeah, we're struggling a little bit, uh, but it's a team effort. Do you think you have enough firepower to get the plays right? We do. Yeah, I do think so. Uh, we have enough guys that are capable of uh, making a play and getting on the end of a goal. Uh, right now, it's it's tough for everybody uh, in the attacking third. Uh, yeah, and it's a team effort, but I do believe we have the, the group to score goals in the, in the team. Jeff, on the floor on the right. Jim, if you can struggle tonight, is it something that just other teams now have tape on him and how he plays, and he's got to make the adjustment, or is it just something else that's missing right now with him? Yeah, I mean, he, he had a turnover on the goal. Uh, yeah, Wallace is a handful. You know, part of it's that. Uh, so again, uh, you know, it's, it's a, a second year. I, I still think he has really good moments uh, in the game. Still, so uh, again, it's something that, you know, like you said, yeah, it's, it's the second time around. People are aware of him, uh, what his strengths are, uh, and, and they try to limit them as best they can. Uh, you know, it's part of a uh, you know, evolution where he, last year was uh, last year. So again, now we have to move on to year two, and, and uh, hopefully, uh, as a group collectively, we can do a, a better job so everybody's you know uh, strengths get uh, seen by everybody. So again, it's a it's a challenge right now. There's no question about that, uh, but we'll continue to work hard and, and stick with what we believe. In. Kevin, second row on the right. Jim, your uh, reaction to the boos that are coming from the fans. Yeah, they're not happy. We haven't won, so yeah, that's uh, obvious. So I mean, I'm not surprised that there's blues uh, in our own building. You know, they're not going to be happy with uh, the way things are going right now. And that's uh, that's part of it. Matt on the floor on the right. 
Jim, right. you, talked, you talked about working hard for this team, working hard. Is this what this team is capable of? Or is this, do you see this team as having underachieved, or is it just this is what they are and it just hasn't been good enough? Where do you kind of see that on the, the spectrum? I think we have a, still have a very a very strong group of guys. I still think we have a, a great team. Uh, I believe in the group. Uh, I think they believe in the work that they do each and every week. Uh, and again, it's going to take uh, us sticking together and getting a result before uh, uh, any of the, the negativity around the team will, will stop. So I think the guys recognize that. Uh, and then again, the only way we can get out of it is with a win. David, back right. What do you say to your guys after a performance like this? Well, you, t you tell them, you try and focus on the positives because there were some positives in the game. Uh, again, it's, it's, it's challenging uh, because, you know, we haven't had a, you know, a complete 90 minutes yet this year, I would say. Uh, we're still in search of that. We've had good spurts. Uh, and, and again, you, you work hard, you watch tape, you try and get better each week and you're trying to, trying to put together a, a complete 90 minutes. Jonathan, front row, right? Ernie just repeatedly back to you publicly and strongly, including today, when he said that there's no pressure inside the organization on you and he thinks that the criticism of the fans is unfair. Do you, what, what does it mean to you to have that kind of back? Well, it's great. You know, uh, again, uh, we see the, the work that everyone does each and every day. Mm -hmm. uh, he was excellent this week in terms of talking to the group uh, in, in team meetings, uh, you know, trying to bring things back to the basics and what we believe in and starting with that energy and passion. Uh, really good talk with the team. I think they took well to it. Uh, again, we came across a, a very good New York City FC team. So uh, I'm a big believer in, in the important people in, in my life and in the, in the organization still believe in me. Uh, and that is, that is where it starts. And that's, uh, uh, I'm happy to have that. And I, I'm, I'm you know, again, a guy who Recognizing, recognizes that and is pretty self-aware of, of how tough the situation is. I don't really run or hide. I think I've always been upfront and honest with everybody here. Uh, and again, I know uh, that it's a tough time, but I also know that we have a good team. I was in the back. Uh, Andre Blake has been your biggest bright spot tonight. Makes some really huge saves, and then the goal like that happens at the end. And is that just down to the uh, his brilliance, or what was? Yeah, I think that's a, you can chalk that one up to, to David Villa seeing the game a little differently than, than most people. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, it, it's a tricky one when you're running full sprint back to your goal, and then uh, it's an it's a uncomfortable situation for a goalkeeper. But for him to see that and uh, shoot from that distance that early, uh, caught him off guard, and obviously a, a great goal. At that stage, um, you know, we're pushing, and then uh, you know, they had. They had had the goal lead, so we're chasing the game a little bit. But yeah, special, special goal for sure. Uh, and, you know, tough night. Last one, Joe here on the right. Jim, what's this? I know you mentioned Jack is one of the bright spots tonight. What have you seen out of him in his progression so far that's earned him the starting spot? Yeah, so Jack, uh, Jack did a great job in the preseason. Uh, also had some really good performances now with, with Bethlehem Steel. Uh, did well when he was called upon at halftime against DC United. Uh, the guy who is uh, a really good passer of the ball. Uh, Wins his uh, aerial duels is, is a confident young player that uh, we believe in, and, and he stepped into a, a tough spot, did a good job. Uh, obviously, we all want to get the three points, but uh, I thought his performance was a, was a good one. Thank you, Jim.